here yet? He'll be here later. It's gonna be weird sharing a room with someone you've never met. He seems cool on mine. I'm really excited. Chooses what? One girlfriend. Not two. Not three. And maybe 
monster? Oh, it's your birthday. You missed your birthday. It's okay. No, I should have gotten you some. <laughs> stupid monster. Stupid, stupid monster. <laughs> Don't say that. Happy birthday, Kelsey. Thanks. You're eight now. Yep. That explains it. What? You're eight. You're growing up. You don't get scared anymore. That's not true. No, I get it. It's natural. I just sort of thought we got something going on here. You did. I thought I had some job security. It wasn't even get 100%. I didn't even want. I don't think that'd help. Well, how is this fair to me? But like, you don't get scared anymore. I still get scared. You do? Yeah. What did I do? Tell me the good parts. Well, I'm scared of the future. The future? Yeah. I'm starting a new school and I don't know if I'll make any friends. Stop. Please, just stop. You're killing me. This is what scares me. The future? Seriously? That is so lame. Not to me. Come on. The future is not even a thing. It's an idea. Like, you're more afraid of an idea than you ever were of me. And I'm real. Like, you're more afraid of the unknown than that time I turned into a vampire and sucked away all of your blood. <laughs> That was a good one. I know. But you're more afraid of the unknown than the time I convinced you nobody was coming to your birthday party. That was just me. Thank you. No, that one seriously messed me up. I said thank you. <laughs> well, what about that one time when you turned into like a thousand spiders and you hid in all the cracks and drawers under my bed and stuff? What are you talking about? I never did this. What? That wasn't you? <laughs> Those to me and God. See, you're still scary. Yeah, but not as scary as the guy. No. I still love you. I know. But it's not the same. You know what your problem is? Clowns. Clowns? Really clowns? Good. Your problem is that you can't tell your fear from your excitement. What? Yeah. You keep your excitement kind of feels like you keep mixing it up. Soccer team. What if I don't make it? What if you do? You could be the next soccer superstar. Maybe. Yeah, and you'll make all kinds of new friends. But what if I don't? What if you do? That's fear. New opportunity. New opportunities? That's excitement. Fear. Excitement. Fear. Excitement! <laughs> but what if I can't tell the difference? And that's fear. And spiders under bed? That's fear. The whole big old thing about that. Yeah, anyway. Anybody in other room? I brag on you all the time. My Kelsey's gonna be great someday, I say. I've taught her love, but you're eight now. No smash, but you don't need me as much anymore. I still need you. You do? Yeah. But not as much. You got real excited now. You don't need dumb old me hopping out the closet. I'll just go back in there and make a fort with the spread and eat Cheetos in the dark. <laughs> well, will I see you again? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not just saying that to make me feel better. No. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Look, kid, you'll never get rid of me. Not entirely. I mean, 
you got puberty coming up, man, that's a busy time for me. Dave, oh, I work double shifts between you and your dad. And SATs, I get at least a month out of that one. And once you have your kids, I'm on your side 24-7. I've got your back, kid. I'm excited about that.
You don't want to live like this. Like what? Like this. It's keeping you from having a rich and fulfilling life. Says who? Says everybody. All the experts agree. This lifestyle can cripple you. I'm not a cripple. I didn't say you were. That's what you meant. I just want what's best for you. And how do you know what's best? I know I don't want this for you. It's not up to you, Dad. You don't get to choose. I didn't get to choose. But you have a choice. I don't. You do. You can fix it before it destroys your life. There's nothing to fix. Of course there is. There's nothing wrong with me. You can't see it here, but your mother and I, we will stand by you. Dad. We'll go with you through every step of the process. I won't go. You will. No. You're my daughter. Then treat me like it. I'm trying. We start today, right now. We'll, we'll take the door off the closet. We'll wall it up like it was never there. We can get you a dresser. Maybe two. What? <laughs> Maybe an arm. What do you feel about arm Arm Two closet? Huh? All right, no arm bars. Now hear me out. A trunk. It's like a big sea chest. We could get one of those rolling clothes racks. We could put it in the corner. I'm just fit on ideas here. They're not all going to be cool, but I promise you, we can fix this. You can't fix gay! What? <laughs> what? What? You heard me. Gay? Yes, Dad. I'm gay!
that's the thing about the city. It's a choice. And an average person makes over 35,000 decisions a day. A day. That's a billion decisions over a lifetime. That's nearly 1,500 an hour. That's 24 decisions a minute. That's one every two seconds. One every two seconds. That's a lot of stuff going inside my head. You have no idea what it's like to be in there.
wallpaper. Uh, I don't know. Paint? Yes. How are you the Pampers? Um, Pampers. Public school or private? Private. You need a new car. Let's do a Mercedes. Can't afford it. Ask for a raise? Yes. What do you mean you got fired? I, I asked for a raise. <laughs> well, that was a stupid decision. It really was. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And then it gets worse. I think she should have her own phone. Yes. What time is the curfew? 10 o'clock. What college? Off campus or on? Dorm for sorority? Do we sell the house? Wake up back on bad foods? Did you make an appointment with a doctor? What are you waiting for? Have you taken your medication? Are you exercising? I'm telling you, Kim, the constant pressure, the never-ending stream of pressure, the constant decisions they have to make until until you can.
Maybe not. Who knows? It's the only job I can get. It's kind of hard when you don't hire the degree. You didn't go to college? I said it. I waited to see where Josh was going. And you couldn't get in, huh? By that time, I was too late to apply. Hey, I did my best. I'm not a miracle. Shut person. up! <laughs>
please tell your friends to come tomorrow, fill this auditorium. We've had an amazing time because of you. Thank you. Woo!